Good evening, sir. Good evening. <coughs> Hello, everyone. We are chatting. Go to the chat. Good evening. Good evening.
Okay, Carlos. Hello, Annie, we are in the chat. Go to the chat, we are chatting. Oh. Hello, teacher. Hello, and how shop. are you doing? Yes, let's go yes, to the chat. fantastic, okay. <laughs> okay. Juan Carlos, how are you doing? Go to the chat. Good evening, teacher. Oh, good evening. Go to the chat. Let's okay. chat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hello, Kevin Antonio. Go to the chat. Hello, teacher. How are you doing? Go to the chat and let's talk. I'm fine, teacher. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here in this uh, in the Zoom application, okay. Okay. Nice, Silvio. Woof. Yay, man. <laughs> so you rest, right? You're rested. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. Okay, so you had enough time to have dinner, Silvio, too. Didn't you have a dinner? Didn't you have dinner yet? Uh, yeah. When we say that we have a period of the day, we don't say free, we say off, off, okay? Mm -hmm like day off, afternoon off, um, morning off, okay? So we say off, but hello everyone. Now let's go back to the main room here. We're going to start the class. Uh, I think you are just one, two, three, like, eight at the moment, right? Nine at the moment with me, including myself. Okay, um, it's 8.08 at this moment. So I have to take the attendance. I'm so sorry for the other others, but I have to take the attendance. So please turn on your cameras and stay present. When I say your name, when you hear your name, please say present teacher or here or presente, right? Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present yeah. teacher. Yeah. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Not yet. Ana del Carmen Mejia Alvarez. Present teacher. Okay. Astrid Tatiana Jimenez Ramirez. Carlos Alberto Paso. Melendez Rosales. Mateo, quiero ver. La moto. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Trago la moto. La bicicleta. Hagámoslo, pues. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, one second. Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Oh, thank you. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. There you are. Giovanni Alexander Ramirez Sanchez. Not yet. Um, <clears throat> Juan Carlos Palacios Ramirez. Present, teacher. There you are. Karina Noemi Álvarez Mejía. Present. Oh, okay. Oops. Karina, Karina, where you are here. Sorry, but I moved the pointer here. So today is Tuesday the 20th. Karina, you said present, okay. There you are. Carla Veronica Surya Lopez. Carla Veronica? Not yet. Kevin Antonio Ramirez Sanchez. Present teacher. Um, Maria Elena Romero de Galvez. Not yet. Nancy Yvette Tova Rivera. 
Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Suleima, ok, Raquel. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. So right now we are going to talk just a little. Solo vamos a recordar eh, la, eh, el requerimiento, ¿verdad? De que todos tienen que entrar a la plataforma y participar del foro de discusión. Eh, si todavía usted no ha entrado al foro de discusión, debe hacerlo. Voy a, a compartir la pantalla. Okay. Voy a compartir aquí la pantalla. Este es el foro de discusión. ¿Cómo llegamos ahí? Nos vamos aquí donde dice discusión. Aquí está the label que dice discussion. Y nos vamos a all topics. Ok, en all topics. It shows all the activities that your teacher is posting for you to practice or for you to discuss, for you to answer, because it could be a question, it could be an exercise, it could be any activity that the teacher posed. So we have here all topics. So we go to all topics and here you see we have the posts, okay? We have the posts, do you see? The first one, only three of you answered, okay? To this question, just nine of you answered. For this one, 15 of you did the activity, okay? The discussion. Let's talk about parties. And remember that the question was, what is usually consumed at parties in San Salvador, right? And those, students who were not from San Salvador, they said in my city, we used to do that, this and this and that, and the parties, okay? So I always posed a response, I reply, um, I give like two or three days and all the way, every weekend I post my replies and also my corrections, okay? I give you a feedback about your comments or about your performance uh, in the written activities, okay? This one was, did you practice enough the present and past simple statements? Esta es la, como el título, right? This is the tagline and here, this is the headline. And here you are going to find the exercise for you to practice, for you to practice. En general, en este ejercicio, en la número dos, en la número dos, por alguna razón, quizás porque aquí hay solo un guión, ¿verdad? Así apareció, pero en el, en, en el ejercicio sí aparecía suficiente espacio para poner el auxiliar. Pero el auxiliar me lo pusieron, me pusieron el to be. Ahí no entra el to be, ¿ok? Aquí estamos en el presente simple. El presente simple es eh, do, does, doesn't, and don't. En el ejemplo primero o en el ejercicio primero dice what y el verbo que hay que conjugar es be, ¿verdad? El verbo be cuando les aparece así obviamente no lleva do ni does, ¿verdad? Pero en los demás, miren, have, do, ah, aquí hay un be, ahí sí va eh, la conjugación de ese verbo. No se conjuga igual que los demás verbos, ¿verdad? 
él se conjuga él solito. Él mismo se convierte, él solito puede decir toda la idea. Entonces, vamos a ver. Number one, what is your name? Okay. Number two, do we have a meeting? Do we have a meeting? What does he do? What does he do? Okay. And then you complete. For example, and number four is they aren't. They aren't. Why? Because it's not B, not B. Now we have not distribute, not distribute here. So the West branches, uh -huh, the West, I'm sorry, the West branches. Uh huh. Don't, okay? Don't distribute, okay? Number six, your company. Here, your company isn't, isn't, right? So, I'm, I'm sorry, here is B. I was reading here, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, here it says B. Entonces, el auxiliar ese, o ese verbo, perdón, B, ¿cómo se conjuga para las preguntas? Ahí no necesitamos do ni does. El solito ponemos al principio, is your company in the tourism industry? Is your company in the tourism industry? Okay. And in the second, you just had to... Um, uh, write the past tense, the simple past tense of every verb that you have in the parenthesis. And when we talk about the reputation of your company, then we ask a question, right? Do you remember? Write a five line paragraph about the reputation of your company. Use passive voice. Use passive voice. This is for you to practice, guys. Okay, I'm going to stop sharing. Y por favor, hagan sus tareas para que el día viernes ustedes no tengan el acumulado y a las una de la mañana estar haciendo, ¿verdad? Para que no les cueste y que no estemos en esa precisión y no me da, no me lo agarra, teacher. No, no, le pongo punto y no me lo agarra. Entonces, <ríe> ¿verdad? Vamos haciéndolo parte por parte. Por eso es una cada día, ¿verdad? Una dosis diaria para que el viernes no se les acumule. Y la otra cosa es que el examen siempre tiene cuatro, eh, eh, cuatro partes usualmente, ¿verdad? Tiene cuatro partes, entonces a veces solo hacen dos partes y se les olvidó terminar la otra, las, las otras dos partes y les queda 20 o les queda 40 la nota. Y entonces ahí tenemos que eh, tener ese cuidado para que salga su nota completa, ¿verdad? Es doloroso que por un descuido de nosotros no vayamos a tener nuestra nota que nos merecemos, ¿verdad? Porque sí lo hemos aprendido, pero no terminamos el trabajo en la plataforma. Muy bien. Esa es una de las, dos de las cosas, ¿verdad? Las tareas eh, y las discusiones. Ahora, la tercera cosa es la asistencia. Por favor, eh, es necesario que estemos siempre a las ocho en punto conectados. Yo sé que aquí ahorita está... Están todos los que entran a las 8, pero tengo que dejar grabado en el video para los que se van a conectar más tarde o van a ver el video después también, que recuerden, 8 de la noche es la entrada y pues 10 de la noche, 10 y 10 para cuando hay session one on one, ¿verdad? Es la salida. Muy bien. Ok, guys. After this commercials. Ok. <laughs> Then we are going to be back to business. Let's go back to business. Ah, la última cosa que se me olvida. Eh, ya deben de ir preparando sus papeles para eh, presentarlos nuevamente para reservar su inscripción. 
¿verdad? Eh, contacten eh, a su, oh, perdón, díganle al contacto en recursos humanos que ya debe de empezar, ¿verdad? Estar siempre pendiente de que cuando le envíen el, el, el email ya tiene todo listo y va de regreso con la respuesta, si no se atrasan, ¿verdad? Ok. After this short message, just let me share the screen and we're going to start our class for today, giving a feedback, doing a little feedback. Let me share the screen for you guys. Okay. What is this? Stop sharing. Ah, uh -huh. this is what happened when you have two camera cameras on. Okay, now let me see. You ready? Again, the same thing. Okay, and go to the basics. Here we are. Okay, people. Up your you can watch this. Oh, again. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going back to the one I was. Okay, people, look. The topic for today is how to use should and should not, should and should not. These are modal verbs and these modal verbs are for um, continue with the politeness, with the kindness, with the good manners, with the respect, uh, the way of treating other people in the company, okay? So we are gonna do a little feedback about requesting politely with could and would, would you mind? Then our objective, objective, I'm going to present it. Then we are going to practice the dialogue, then our short briefing about should and shouldn't, how to use it. And then we are going to have a little practice, written practice and our um, summary at the end of the class. And the turn for today's session, one-on-one -on -one is for Kari Karina again. Yeah, I, I see it was Karina. No, Karina was yesterday, but we changed it. We changed that term, right? Okay, just let me check, double check that, okay. The class objective for today is that the students will be able to use should and should not, should and should not, to make a list of appropriate and inappropriate behavior at work. Behavior, that's the main here. The main thing here is behavior. Behavior, remember that word, appropriate and inappropriate. So let's let's start with the feedback. Let's go to our manuals. Hoy sí pueden ver directamente el manual. ¿Se mira el manual aquí ahorita? No. 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 Okay, es lo que les digo. Se queda colgado algo y tengo que volver a salir. No he 
visto en qué momento se queda colgado, pero es mi máquina, sinceramente, y no puedo encontrarle el punto. Porque no debiera, realmente no debiera. Okay, now we go to the manuals and let's review. Can you give me an example of a request, a polite request? Guys, go to your notes and give me examples, everyone. Here we are. Examples, guys, from yesterday's class. Suleyma, can you give us an example of a request? Okay. A polite request? Yusuf, would you like and um, would you need to ask quality requirements? Again? Yeah. Would you mind? Would you mind to ask quality requirements? Mm, I, I can't get it, I can't get it. Uh, let's see, would you mind? Would you mind? Uh-huh. To add. Add, add. Uh -huh. Double add. D? Double D? Add? Add. Uh-huh. Politics? 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 Requirements. Oh, polite requirements. Polite requirements. Polite requirements. Okay. Uh, could you polite add? Okay. In this case, if we use would you mind, we have to use an ing verb. So would you mind adding, right? Adding. Yeah. Would you mind adding some other polite requests? Okay. Yeah, something like that is if is what I got from you, okay? Let's see, Kevin. Kevin, can you uh, give us an example of a polite request? Kevin Antonio, Kevin Antonio. Uh, the, could you... Call me later. Oh. No, ahorita les estaba pidiendo un ejemplo para que ustedes recordaran cómo es, ¿ok? Ah, oh, ok. So, um, yes. Call, Kevin Antonio. Call you. Call, call you my. Ok, would you mind? Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, perdón, sorry. Uh, would you mind? <clears throat> um, okay. Cualquier actividad, cualquier actividad. Um, Ahí pueden, cualquier task, okay? Any task that you do usually in your job or in your workplace, then is the one that you are going to give us an example. For example, a thing that you constantly are asking to a coworker, right? For example, yesterday you said, um, would you mind answering the phone? Okay, it's an example, yeah? Le, uh, uh, no, no nos vayamos con el pensamiento a algo que no hemos aprendido aún, ¿ok? Usemos el vocabulario que ya tenemos, ¿ok? Vamos a ver, Car Carlos Alberto, can you give us an example? Would you mind signing the, the letters? Signing? The letters. The letters, ok, good. Again, Kevin Antonio, now you can give us an example, right? Any example? Teacher, teacher, yo tengo el mío. Okay, go ahead, Suleyma. Sorry, no le había entendido. Okay. Uh, could you 
please send the emails. Okay, could you please send the emails? Very good, very good, Suleyma, thank you. Now, Kevin Antonio. Um, call, call, would you mean um, how do I see it? Uh -huh. uh, would you mind? Encender la máquina o la computer. Okay, would you mind turning on the computer? Would you turning mind on the turning on? Would you mind turn it on the computer? Okay, yes. That's the, uh, the verb, turning on. But you can say also turning start, on. start. It's another verb, right? So, yes. Good, thank you very much, Kevin. So yes, that's what we were talking about yesterday. How to use could and would you mind? They are uh, two modal verbs and would in companion of mind is to request or to ask polite requests, okay? They are to ask polite requests. So. Let's read these conversations. Could you call me later? Sure. Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Right away. Could you contact the tech support? No problem. Okay. Now I want to hear Giovanni uh, Pineda and Giovanni Ramirez. Ha, good. With the first one, A and B here. Okay. Could you? Call me later. Sure. Giovanni Ramirez, solo va a leer el B. Answer the question. Sure. Excellent, Giovanni. Yes, that's correct. Like, con entonación, ¿verdad? Sure, right? Sure, seguro, sure. So let's continue with the other conversation and let's listen to Alejandra and Silvio, please. This one. Cualquiera, teacher. Uh, no se mira mi puntero, ¿verdad? No. No sé, mira, les estaba ah, señalando la que sí. Uh, aquí. La... Okay. Okay. ok. Ok. Could you make uh, 10 copies of this paper? Ok. Ahora con entonación. Perdón, Silvio. Ahora con entonación, Alejandra, es una entonación de pregunta. Trate con la entonación. Mm, could you make 10 copies of the paper? Thank you, Alejandra. Now, Silvio. Of this paper. Mm -hmm. Right away. Right away. Right away. Good. Uh, next conversation. Carlos Eduardo and Carlos Alberto. Okay. Could you contact the desk support? No problem. Okay. Thank you very much. Ani, let's read this one. Do you see the pointer there? Yes. Uh, hey. Yes, please. With uh, Karina. Will, will you meet calling the plaque manager? Right away. Okay, bye. Veamos ahorita esta pronunciación que no, no se les olvide cómo es. Would. Would. Okay, everybody. Would. 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 Aquí no, no vamos a pronunciar la letra L, ¿verdad? Would. No vamos a decir would, no, vamos a decir would. Would. Yes. Would. Sin la L. Would. Would. Ahora, would. la otra palabra eh, que la acompaña con el sujeto sería would you mind? Would you mind? Entonces ya would no suena. You mind. Exacto. Ahora ya no suena would you mind, right? Vamos a pronunciarlo así with a link between the words, okay? Like, would you mind? Would you mind? 
Would you mind? Do you hear what is the pronunciation? Would you? Would you, would you mind? mind? Would you 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 mind? Okay. Would you mind? Thank you very much. Let's start. I oh, know you you did it. You did it correctly, uh, Karina. Also, next conversation. Let's try here, Wendy and Juan Carlos. Good to my calling the plant manager. In a minute. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, está bien, Juan Carlos, gracias. Solo que no quería decirle que no a, a Wendy, eh, que estábamos en la otra porque lo leyó muy bien. Okay, she read very good her example. So now let's see, Suleima and, and Raquel, please. This one, this one, do you see? The second one. Would you mind taking a fortunate while the they are for me. Raquel. In a minute. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Now let's see the last conversation we have here. The last conversation will be uh, for Uh, let's see. Giovanni Pineda and Kevin Antonio. Okay. Uh, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. Okay, very good. Ahora, un tip que les... Uh, Quiero dar es que cuando nosotros hablamos incluso en español, ¿verdad? Hacemos un link de palabras. Se ha fijado que a veces hay unas palabras que no suenan, hay otras palabras que tienen un sonido como detenido, otras que para adentro. Nosotros tenemos una letra muy marcada, ¿verdad? Que la pronunciamos diferente, ¿verdad? Pues ibon, ¿verdad? Entonces usamos la letra J en vez de la S para alguien que aprende inglés. Diría, bueno, y ahí como dijo, ¿verdad? Entonces lo mismo nos pasa a nosotros cuando no hacemos el link de las palabras. Por ejemplo, acá, ¿ok? Recuerden siempre, would you mind, would you mind, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning depart department, department. Aquí nos detenemos y esta T casi que no suena, ¿verdad? Department, ¿ok? Pero hay que hacer el strong voice aquí. ¿verdad? Hay que hacer la fuerza de voz ahí. Ahora, en la respuesta, no decimos normalmente not a problem. Decimos not a problem. Not a. Not a. Everyone, not a. Not a problem. Okay. You are going to sound more fluent. Y a veces, cuando escuchen a alguien hablando... Con el link a un nativo, ¿verdad? Ustedes van a decir, ah, ahí dice, not a problem. Even though you are hearing, not a problem, right? Not a, not a, not a. So, let's read this. Start a request with could you followed by the base form or the ing uh, form of the verb? The base form or the ing form of the verb after could? The base, the base form. The base form. Okay, the base form. So let's underline this here. And of the main verb, of the main verb. Usualmente hay otros verbos por ahí, ¿verdad? Hay otros verbos por ahí. Esos no los vamos a eh, tocar en esta, en esta regla que estamos viendo, ¿verdad? Um, let's continue. Plus any complement phrase, any complement phrase. For example, here, could you, and then the verb in the base form, do you see? And here, 
let's read it's it says start a request with would you mind plus the base form or the ing form of the main verb look the ing excellent so ING. we underline this this is for us to remember and any complement phrase for example here we have the plan manager, here we have an appointment with the HR for me and et cetera, okay? The answers, the answers for these requests are reactions, okay? I, are reactions. So the expected answers, the expected answers I'm reading from here are the actions that are requested or short answers like the ones in the examples above. Above means arriba. So let's see. Sure, right away, no problem. Here, right away, in a, in a minute, not a problem. In a moment, of course, count on it, okay? Count on it. So we can use any expression when you agree, when you agree, these are positive reactions. These are positive reactions, okay? Estas son reacciones positivas de que usted sí está de acuerdo en hacer ese, esa acción, ¿verdad? Ahora, perdón, si fuera, eh, si fuera negativa, ¿ok? Si fuera negativa la respuesta, for example, here, normalmente cuando a usted le piden hacer algo, ¿verdad? como un favor, o le están pidiendo eh, alcánceme eso, o pass something, or give me this, can I borrow this, or could I borrow the stapler, or something like that, nos excusamos. Okay, nos excusamos. So we use, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. But, okay, but, and we give an explanation why we don't agree to do that action. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, for example, could you make 10 copies of this paper? Oh, I'm sorry but there is, uh, or the photocopier is uh, run out of ink, okay? Has run out of ink. No tiene tinta la fotocopiadora. Oh, okay, right? So if you are not able to do the action, then you are going to give an excuse why you don't do that. No vamos a decir solo, nah, right? Because we are talking about respect, respect kindness, politeness, okay? So, eso sería para could, okay? Ahora, and would you mind if you don't agree, if you don't agree? Por ejemplo, si a usted realmente pues se le dificulta o it's difficult to do something that they are asking for you to do, uh, so you have to give an excuse too, right? But when we give this excuse, we give it in a positive answer, okay? Si yo le digo, sí, yes, I mind. I'm sorry, but I mind, okay? Yo le podría decir, usualmente no se contesta así el negativo, ¿verdad? But, uh, I'm sorry, for example, but I, y entonces usted da una explicación, ¿verdad? I'm sorry, but I mind, okay? But I mind, I mind. ¿Qué quiere decir I mind? Uh, sí, es un problema para mí, okay? That, yeah, si me importa si lo haces. For example, here, instead of saying I, I, I mind, 
for example, would you mind calling the plant manager? I'm sorry, but, okay, he's not willing, okay? He's not willing to answer, for example. Okay, le doy una explicación, ¿verdad? Le doy una explicación. Would you mind calling the plant manager? Y entonces usted dice, I'm sorry, but he's not willing to answer. And I don't want to go and do it, right? Because maybe I'm going to get <laughs> the, uh, uh, to deal with that character, okay? So, mm, no lo va a hacer porque usted piensa que a usted le va a caer el la regañada or something like that, okay? I'm sorry, but he's not willing to answer. Lo siento, pero no, él no va a estar dispuesto a contestar, okay? Es una explicación pequeña. Now, let's continue with this. Let's continue. Just let me erase this thing. Y si se fijan, y si se fijan, la respuesta negativa no, del... se le ocurrió a la... I'm sorry. No. <laughs> ok. Si se fijan acá, cuando estamos respondiendo esta, for example, would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Not a problem. Ok. Si solo le dijéramos, no problem is ok. Ok. No problem. Como acá. Right? No problem. It's okay. Okay. Uh, Podríamos contestar no, not at all. Okay. No. No, do, do it. Okay. No, it's okay. That's the other thing. We say no, it's okay. No, it's okay. No, no. Eso está indicando que usted sí está de acuerdo en hacer esa acción. ¿Ok? No nos confundamos con eso. So now let's continue with this thing. Because now we have to write polite requests. Write polite requests in this matrix that we have here. There we have an example make appointments, make appointments. So let's try to give some other tasks that could be requested in our workplaces. A ver, así como make appointments, otras actividades que eh, pueden ser un, un que usted puede pedirle a alguien que haga, ¿ok? A request, una solicitud. Let's start. Raquel, please. One task. Carlos Eduardo, think and one. Think about one. Raquelita. Dígame. Like make appointments. Uh huh. No, no entiendo, teacher, ¿qué es lo que Write polite requests you receive or give at your workplace. So you have to give me, just as the example, make appointments. You have to give me all of these ones, okay? Actividades que usted le solicita a alguien. Tasks that you request that someone else to do or they request you to do. Yeah, uh, Raquel. Sí, sí, me, me, me expliqué. Yeah, uh, send, send the report. Okay. Okay, another one, please, Silvio. Make a uh... 
well, the verb is not sure. Make a meeting or uh, organize. Organize. Or organize the meeting. Mm -hmm. Organize. Oh, or organize a meeting. Okay. Another one, please, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Not Juan Carlos now. Okay, then let's see. Um, Wendy. Call me. Uh, call or make a phone call or just call. Okay. Uh, you said something else. I don't remember. You said call me, right? Call me. Okay. Another one, Carlos Eduardo? Uh, scan document. Okay. Turn on the uh -huh. air conditioner. Turn on the air conditioner, good. Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Linda? Archive, archive uh, documents. Okay, like file documents, right? Uh, like this? Yes. Okay, now let's continue with this activity. Everybody, please take a screenshot of this. Okay, take a screenshot of this. And we are going to the breakout rooms. Only five minutes, okay? Only five minutes. Vamos a estar en los breakout rooms para que ustedes hagan esta práctica nada más a platicar, okay? ¿Cómo? Así como esos ejemplos que estaban arriba. La pregunta y una respuesta como esas de reacción, ¿verdad? Right away, of course, no problem, not at all, okay? Y... Uno de ustedes hace la pregunta. For example, I ask, Ana, could you call me, please? Okay. Ana, could, y Ana me contesta. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Eso es lo que van a ir a hacer con todas estas actividades. En este círculo que está aquí, falta su nombre. Okay. Aquí lo que va a hacer es su nombre. Eso es todo. Okay. Ya tomaron el screenshot. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay. Teacher, I use yes. the could and the would. Yes, using could, could you, and would you mind? Okay. Okay, there we are. I'm going to stop sharing. Just one moment. Screen. And let's go to the groups. Only five minutes, okay? Teacher, the invitation. I sent it already. No. Yes, there you are. Uh, Giovanni, you go to room two. 
No, teacher. Ok. Eh, va a tener dos movimientos, ok. Al segundo movimiento. Wait for me, please. Ahora sí, Kevin. Teacher. Uh -huh. mm. Ya todos se fueron para allá a sus lugares. Yo ya, te, ya lo moví, Giovanni. En sala 2 no. está. No, pero me regresó. El... Ya, te, ya se la envié. Ahorita ya se Pero la envié. es que no aparece. No aparece. Uh, quizás por la pantalla en que está, Giovanni. Mm. No se le habrá ido abajo o a notificación. Estará mm. ahí haciendo flash. No. No tengo otra opción. There you are. Hello, Giovanni. Okay. Hola, teacher. Okay, now teacher. you are you are okay. Okay, there you go. Thank you, teacher. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Este. ¿Cuántas preguntas serían, teacher? Son cinco, ¿verdad? Aquí no es de cuántas preguntas. Ustedes se van a ir con cada círculo haciéndolo. Es una práctica uh -huh. activa, ¿ok? Aquí no vamos a pensar más. Solo could and would you mind. Usar todas las que okay. pusimos en el esquema, ¿ok? No, bueno. Just speaking, just speaking. Ok. There you are. Oh, call, call, send me an email. Are you away? Are you away? Okay. So, call you. Call you. Uh, call you. Send it. Call you. Send me an email. Could. Could. Acuérdense que la L no suena. Could. 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 Wow. Could you organize meeting, Kevin? Sure. sure. Remember the magic words, the magic please. Words. Okay. This is not the please. This is the Could you organize? A uh, meeting, please. Sure. sure. No problem. No problem. Okay. No. Hello, girls. How are you doing here? Hello, teacher. We finished. But I want to hear you. At least two, two, two questions, two answers. Go ahead. Okay. Um, could you call me in a minute, please? Sure. 
Okay. Yes. Could you please help me to send the report today? Right away. Good job, girls. Good job. Okay. Uh, we are going back to the main room. Okay. Okay, let's hear Anna, Cristina, and Kevin. One example, please, of your pair work. Only one. Um, could, could you turn on the air conditioner, please? Uh, yes, no problem. Good, good, good. Okay, now let's see. Carlos okay. Eduardo, please, with your partner. Okay, with Wendy. Okay, Wendy. Wendy, could you call me, please? Sure. Excellent. These are the polite requests, and we do it every time, every moment we are doing this in our workplaces. So now we go to the next topic, guys. We go to the next topic. And this topic, I just want you to tell me to start, para comenzar, to start. Um, do you have rules? Do you have regulations in your workplaces? Yes. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Mm, what rules can you tell me that you have in your uh, companies? Don't use a necklace or rings. Oh, okay. Watches. Okay, good, good. So these are like uh, safety things too. And also like that regulation, this, this jewelry, right? Jewelry and what else? Metals. Uh, necklace, uh, necklaces. Um, necklaces. Okay, necklaces. Uh -huh. Good, so you don't have to wear those things in that company. Very good. Now, what other uh, rule or regulation do you have in your companies? Let's see, uh, uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, con Suleima, uh, could you Please uh, clean uh, the opens. Sure, no problem. Clean the what? Clean the what, Juan Carlos? Clean the windows. Ah, clean the windows. Okay, clean up the windows. That was you wanted to say. Clean up the windows. And Slema said yes. Okay, okay, thank you very much, Juan Carlos. Ahora, siguiendo el, el tema nuevo, okay, we are talking about regulations and we are talking about rules, rules uh, that we have to follow in our companies and uh, because they want us to behave in a way, in a proper way, okay, okay. in a very proper way. 
Okay, now let me share the screen with you and we are going to learn some vocabulary first. Vocabulary. Okay. Here we have some vocabulary. Do you see those beautiful girls that are in this presentation, guys? Do you know them? Aha. Okay, let's think. This girl and this other girl and this other girl are the personnel in a company, okay? They are the personnel in the company. So they have to follow, to follow rules. They have to observe regulations, compliances, requirements, standards, laws, and policies. Let's see. The behavior of these three members of the personnel are ruled by rules, rules, regulations, standards, requirements, policies, okay, and compliance. Let's read these words. Behavior, behavior, everyone, behavior. 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 What does behavior mean? What does behavior mean? What, what does? Uh -huh. Ideas, ideas. What is the meaning of behavior? What is the meaning of behavior? What do you think? ¿Ya habían oído estas palabras? Behavior is the way to be. Behavior is the way to be. Okay, es su forma de ser, su forma de comportarse. Okay, comportamiento, right? Behavior, behavior, behavior. Let's remember the behavior. word. Behavior. Good manners, good manners. Do you know what good manners uh, are referring to? What is that? Good manners. Modales, buenos modales. Yes, correct. Let's say that in English. Let's try to say that in English. Good manners. Uh -huh. Good manners are like etiquette. Uh, good manners are to show respect. Okay. So that's good manners. Now, advice, advice, advice. What do you think advice means? Advice is when you tell someone the best way to do something, okay? The best way to do something. So it comes with a suggestion, okay? When you give an, an advice, you use a suggestion. Uh, un consejo sería advice. Suggestion, we know. They can say, uh, okay, I do this or I don't do this, okay? So when we are um, 
talking about rules, regulations, laws, standards, policies, and requirements, we are talking about prohibitions, okay? Prohibitions. For example, they say, don't do that, okay? Don't do that. Do this. Do that. Now, let's think. Let's think. Wear your uniform. Wear your uniform, okay? Wear an... Um, Wear a helmet, okay? Wear a helmet, use casco, right? So those are things like regulations, rules, okay? And requirements. Here in this class, we have requirements like the 100% uh, in the assistant, I'm, I'm sorry, in the, in the attendance, I'm sorry, in the attendance. So if you see, if you see, uh, we have everywhere, everywhere, tenemos maneras sociales de comportarnos que son aceptables y siempre hay prohibiciones, ¿verdad? Hay prohibiciones y hay eh, cuestiones que sí se deben hacer y hay cuestiones que no se deben hacer, que utilizamos para poder dar un consejo o para poder regir o dar una instrucción, ¿ok? De una manera eh, correcta y muy polite. ¿Cómo lo decimos? Utilizamos el verbo modal should, should. Y en una manera negativa sería should not, ¿ok? Should not. Que su contracción es shouldn't, shouldn't, shouldn't. That's the negative way to use this. ¿Para qué usamos entonces el should y el shouldn't? What do we use this for? Advice. For advice, good. Advice. And? To rule the behavior, right? To rule the behavior. So behavior can be good or can be bad. Behavior can be good and behavior also can be bad. For example, if you arrive late to your job every day, is that a good behavior or is that a bad behavior? You arrive late to your job. Is that bad behavior? Bad, bad behavior, right? Bad behavior. For example, if you shout, you shout every time you are speaking uh, to your coworkers, is that a good behavior or is that a bad behavior? Bad behavior. Bad behavior. If you just take the things without permission, is a good behavior or is a bad behavior? bad behavior okay bad behavior so behavior can be can be um good or bad okay uh that is why we have to use should and shouldn't negative and affirmative or positive things so let's go to the next thing i've got here Uh, yes, we are going to have that game, but I was going to the manual, okay? In our manuals, we have a dialogue, so let's go to the dialogue. No tome la, la asistencia, verdad? Okay, I'm going to take no. the intern first. No, present. Okay, I'm going to take the, the attendance at this moment. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Okay. Ana Cristina Chavarria Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejia Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. Present teacher. Okay. Um, 
Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Ok, Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. No, Daniel, today. Ok, Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Present. Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Ok. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Carla, are you there? I thought she was there, but no. Um, Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. No, María Elena. Ok. Nancy Iveto Rivera. No, Nancy tonight. Oh my God. Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Ok. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Present. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much guys. And I'm sorry, but it's it was nine, let's say that. I'm going to share the screen with you and let's see the dialogue that we have in this page 31. The good behavior is appropriate. Do you read their appropriate behavior? And bad behavior is inappropriate behavior. Appropriate behavior, inappropriate behavior. So let's read this dialogue. Claudia and Raul are talking. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. Um, we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We shall help him instead. Okay. What are these guys doing? What are they talking about? I'm going to read it again. I can't believe it. Robert is it's addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He shall not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his messages after the meetings. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We shall help him instead. Okay. What are these guys doing? ¿Qué están haciendo ellos? Ajá. Uh -huh. They are talking about someone else, right? They are gossiping, gossip, gossip, right? Uh, They are talking. <laughs> yes. So let's see here that they are talking about an appropriate behavior of someone, but they are <laughs> in an, an appropriate behavior too, right? Now, let's try, Claudia will be Wendy and Carlos will be Raul, okay? So please read this conversation, but when you read it, read it with the intonation of chambre, right? Of a gossip. Yeah, very well, Carlos, teach. Uh, Carlos Eduardo, I have okay. it right in front in front of me. Okay. Start. Empiezo yo. Yes, please. 
Yes, Claudia. <laughs> Wendy, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to high phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not shut in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. 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 A agree. Agree. Mm -hmm. agree. We should help him instead. 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 Yeah. Okay. Let's try this. But something with that feeling of a gasset, right? Así como el sentido de chamber, right? Let's give this sense. Like, I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Did you see him? Right? Something like that. As if you are just talking, but, uh, but no one else has to know what we are talking about, right? So let's hear Silvio and Suleyma, and then prepare Ana Cristina and Kevin Daniel, okay? Silvio and Suleyma first. Go ahead. Uh, who is Claudia? <laughs> Suleyma. Okay. I can. Ben is over to his addicted to his, his uh, phone. Phone. Did you send him? Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in the meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the meeting. And we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Great. Where well, should help me in, in this? Instead. Instead. Instead significa en lugar de. Okay. En vez de. It's instead. So we should help him instead of talking about him, right? Just talking, let's help him. And let's tell him that he should answer his messages after the meetings, right? So let's see uh, Kevin and Christine, Anna Christine. I can't feel it, Robert. He's addicted to his phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not he chat with meeting. Absolutely. That is not, not polite. He should not answer polite. his messages after the meetings and we should not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree. We should hit him instead. 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 Yes, instead. Okay, let's hear okay. Raquel and Anna. Annie, teacher. Yes, please. Annie, Annie del Carmen, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Eh, 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 yo, eh, Claudia. Yes, but uh, remember, me... remember que están chambreando, okay? So, yes, 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 go yes, ahead. Yes, yes. <laughs> I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to high phone. Did you see him? You're right. He should not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He should answer his message after the next meeting and we shall not talk about him. That's not polite either. Agree, we should help him instead. 
Thank you very much, girls. Ya le vamos sintiendo el saborcito, right? We are feeling the flavors here, right? <laughs> Let's see, Karina and Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos is Raul and Karina is Claudia. Okay. I can't believe it. Robert is addicted to his phone. Do you see him? You're right. He sure not, sure not chat in a meeting. Absolutely. That is not polite. He sure answer his message after the meaning and we should not talk about him. That's not polite. I agree. We should help him instead. Okay. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Suleyma, uh, you had a question? Oh, teacher. Eh, quise mandar una carita. Oh, oh, okay, okay. There you are. So, tengo una tell me. La expresión chat not polite, Ager, como, ¿qué significa? That's not polite either. Eso no es bueno, no es amable tampoco. Okay. Either means tampoco, whether. Okay, so let's go to the uh, the activity here, number three, and let's discuss the questions with everyone here in the group. What are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? What are some polite behaviors you expect from your co-workers. Mm -hmm. Let's see what behavior is. Behavior is the way that someone acts in different situations. For example, right, for example, the company expects polite behavior from all the employees. Another example, interrupting other people when they speak is not a good behavior. It's not a good behavior. Gossiping, talking about others, right? Gossiping about coworkers is rude behavior or bad behavior, right? Rude behavior, inappropriate behavior. Okay, now what are some polite behaviors you expect from your coworkers? A ver, ejemplos de maneras de comportarse o sí, de maneras de comportarse que ustedes esperan de sus compañeros. Say please, say thank you. Good, so good manner saying please, say thank you. Good, thank you very much, uh, Carlos. What other polite behaviors do you expect? Respect your colleagues. Okay. Mm -hmm. Another, like? Great. Again? I'm sorry, I didn't get it. Juan Carlos, can you repeat that, please? Cooperate. Oh, okay. Cooperation, right? That they cooperate in the activities, right? Yeah, correct. You're right. Ana Cristina, some polite behaviors that you expect from your colleagues. No tengo una ahorita, teacher. Okay, no problem. Okay, <laughs> no problem. Let's, let's see. For example, 
do you think that uh, when they say lies is a polite behavior when they when they lie to you or lie to the company? Saying lies, decir mentiras, saying lies. Is that polite? <laughs> Only when they refer to our aspect, right? <laughs> what do we lo look like? <laughs> this is just joking, just, just joking, guys, just joking. Okay, solo nos gusta que mientan cuando nos digan, ay, qué linda, okay? <laughs> oh, wow, que bien se ve, right? Even though we know that we, we have a mirror, <laughs> okay? So this is just joking, this is just joking, okay? So let's continue with the next uh, question. What are some rude behaviors your coworkers are not expected to do? Malos comportamientos que no se espera de, de un compañero de trabajo, right? Rude behaviors that you don't expect or uh, these behaviors are not expected to do. To be done. Examples. When they are always angry, right? They are just listen like this. Um. Okay. Yeah. De mala gana, right? Uh, we don't like that. Uh, we don't expect that behavior in a company. We need collaboration, right? We need respect. Okay, guys, let's continue here. Because here we have how to use should and should not. How to use should and should not. Let's read the examples, okay? Let's read the examples. We have to look at the words in bold and complete the sentences below the, as we have done before in the grammar boxes. So it says, the guard should answer my good morning greeting. The guard should answer my good morning greeting, okay? Next, Linda should greet with a firm handshake, right? The supervisor should use a greeting in his emails. You should say please when you ask for a favor. That's polite behavior. That's appropriate behavior in the company, right? Uh, when you observe the dress code, you should dress appropriate for your work, right? Dress up appropriate for your work. So let's see down or below those examples. And it says, use should plus the infinitive form or the base form. Infinitive form or the base form, which one? Do you see? Answer, greet, use, say. Is the base form or is the infinitive form? Base form. The base form. Okay, then you can underline base form and write it down in the space there. Plus any compliment phrase to express a direct suggestion. You see? To express a direct suggestion. Now let's read this other box. Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout at you. Again, Darío should not use many emojis in his emails. Helen should not speak so loudly. Gabriel should not tell sexist jokes. Your boss should not shout at you. Okay? 
let's read here according to these examples because here we are talking about the negative form. Use should plus not what? The infinitive or the base form? You see, use, speak, tell, shout base are form. the verbs. Thank you very much. It's the base form. Should not plus the base form of the verb plus any complement phrase to give a suggestion about something that it is not, something that is not appropriate. Remember that direct suggestion is that you must do something. Um, not must. Uh, direct suggestion is a do. Okay, is I said do or do's. Okay, direct suggestions are do's, and a suggestion about something that is not appropriate, like prohibitions and some things like that, are don'ts. So these are the positive are do's, and these are don'ts. Estos son los hágalo y estos son lo no lo haga. Okay? Correcto? Are we okay with this? Or do you have any questions? Do you have questions? No, teacher. Okay, then according to this box, vamos a ir todos a la búsqueda de Google and search, okay? Yo voy a darles un código y vamos a hacer un little quiz para que practiquemos, for us to practice, okay? About should and shouldn't. This is the game time that you saw in the slides. Este no lo voy a presentar en la pantalla, pero ustedes en la búsqueda de Google tienen que uh, escribir quizzes.com, okay, like this. Que Quizzes.com. 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 Then I'm going to provide you with the code. And this quiz, you are going to find 15 questions. Uh, yeah. We could say questions, but what we are going to do is to provide what matches or what is the correct form to say what we are saying. For example, I'm going to give you an example, okay? Cuando ustedes le dan una sugerencia a alguien, por ejemplo, alguien les dice a ustedes, uh, I'm tired, okay? I'm tired. Y ustedes saben que esa persona se está desvelando, for example, o oh, tiene mucho trabajo, okay? Then, I say, I'm tired. Yo le puedo decir, you shouldn't work late at night, okay? You shouldn't work late at night. O le podría decir, you should go to bed early, okay? You should go to bed early. Estoy dando una sugerencia o estoy dándole una forma para ya no estar cansado, right? I'm tired. You should not what um you should not watch TV too late at night, okay? For example. Entonces, decimos una oración uh, a ustedes en esas preguntas, hay una oración y van a encontrar como cuál es el consejo, ¿verdad? Para esa expresión en algunas. En otras van a encontrar ustedes si 
lo que falta es, van a ponerle lo que falta de acuerdo al espacio que encuentren en la pregunta. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver. Estaba generando el código. No me, en mi caso no me agarra esa página. ¿No le agarra? No. Me queda en blanco. En tres navegadores probé y no se puede. Is without the, the, the I. Is with I. Quiz. Quiz. Quizzes. Did I write another E? Is. Quizzes. 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 With, without the letter E. Is with I. Yes, it's only with the letter I. It's Q U I Z I Z Z. Yes. Okay, thank okay. you. Thank you, Karina. Que se fijo. Okay. It's giving me a code. It's loading. It's loading, loading. Okay, here we go. Almost, almost, almost. 90, 94. Oops. It's still loading. Okay, here is the code. Five one four zero seven six. Again, five one four zero seven six. Okay, I'm going to write it down. It was, uh, just let me move back. Right in the chat. There it is. Yes, uh -huh. there it is. En la búsqueda de Google, ustedes tienen que escribir quizzes.com. Los va a llevar a otra pantalla en donde les va a pedir ingrese el código. El código es 514076, ¿ok? Luego les pide que escriban su nombre, ¿ok? Escriben su nombre. There you are, there you are, guys, good. Here I have Suleima, Karina, Alexander, Giovanni, Good, Carlos, Kevin. Big shock. Good. <laughs> Kevin Rodriguez, Silvio. Excellent. Okay. Linda. Good. Annie. I have 13 of you. Let me see how many are with are okay. They have to be 16. Tres me faltan. Vamos a ver who. Okay, there you go, Wendy. Hay alguien que se me ha quedado. Alguien que no puede ingresar. Dígame si tiene problemas para ingresar nuevamente. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama la página? Perdón. Uh, váyase ahí en el chat y dele copiar al link. O dele a través del link. Ok. Uh -huh. Okay, I think we are almost done here. And y le damos iniciar. Cuando entre Raquel, ella va a entrar en su tiempo. Okay, there we go. One, there you are, Rachel. One, two, and start.
There you go, Karina. Good, Linda. Good job, Carlos. Very good, big Chuck. Suleima and Carlos Alberto goes like this. Go, go, Juan Carlos, there you are. I think everybody finished. No, we have four more. Let's see. Good, Raquel. Uh huh. Uh huh. How was the game? How was the yeah. game? Good. Okay. Was it easy? Yes. Okay. For Karina, it was easy. And for everyone, do you have any question about what you did in this game? No, teacher. No? No. Estaban nerviosos, ¿verdad? You got nervous like. Uh, 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 oh, no, right? Oh. Something like that. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um, we have five more minutes. Okay. We have five more minutes. And we are going to finish in our manuals. Okay. What we were reading there. What we were reading there. So uh, Alejandra is there, is still there. Okay, Alejandra is still playing. Let's see. I'm sorry. Okay, good. Good, good. Now, yeah, everybody, okay. Okay, done. Mm -hmm.
guys, they score, the group score was 74%. So tomorrow we are going to play again and we want to, uh, we want to improve that performance, okay? So everybody, please, with your homework, you are going to practice in the platform and tomorrow we will be ready to get 100%, at least 80%, okay? At least the 80%. Ok, tenemos todos como grupo 74 nos sacamos, ok. Así que eh, um, yo voy a seguir verificando. Eh, en primer lugar quedó Karina. Hey, Karina, there you are. Ok, uh, now let's see. If you have a question about should and shouldn't, Please don't hesitate and tell me. Hey, thank you, Ana Cristina. So everybody like this or reacting, reacting. Aha, uh -huh, good, yeah. <laughs> I cannot blow, I cannot blow. Okay. Mm, let's see here. We're going to finish just, uh, the instruction of this activity for you to come ready tomorrow. Okay. Okay. The other activity is this one, the one that we have down there, number six. Number six. It says provide a suggestion about the, situ the next situations at work. Ahí lo que ustedes van a hacer es leer y dar. Una sugerencia, provide a suggestion about that behavior. Así que lo traen leidito, ¿verdad? Para mañana y lo hacemos mañana aquí. Now let me take the attendance. Stop, stop, stop. I said I was not going to show that. Um, And let me see also this. After the game, the computer is lower. Carla Veronica is uh, the session one of one turn. Carla, and Carla is not here, right? Carla is not here, isn't she? Is she? Okay, then I have that um, space available, guys. Alejandra Vanessa Mora Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Ana Cristina Chavarría Flores. Present teacher. Ana del Carmen Mejía Álvarez. Present teacher. Astrid Tatiana Jiménez Ramírez. Carlos Alberto Meléndez Rosales. <laughs> Carlos Eduardo Maldonado Vázquez. Present. Daniel Enrique Orellana Mejía. Giovanni Alexander Pineda Romero. Giov ok, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Giovanni got disconnected. No, there you are, Giovanni. Mm -hmm. Ok, Giovanni Alexander Ramírez Sánchez. Juan Carlos Palacios Ramírez. Present. Karina Noemí Álvarez Mejía. Present. Carla Verónica Suria López. Kevin Antonio Ramírez Sánchez. Present. María Elena Romero de Galvez. Nancy Ivette Tobar Rivera. 
Raquel Judith Vázquez de Córdoba. Present. Ok. Suleima Verónica Melgar Díaz. Present. Wendy Xiomara Núñez. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you. There you are. Ana Delmi Herrera Morales. Juan Ramón Rodríguez Alas. Kevin Daniel Rodríguez Calderón. Present teacher. Linda Stephanie Ramírez Abrego. Present teacher. Um, Silvio Enrique Cortés Flores. Present teacher. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, let's see, Kevin, Kevin Daniel. Uh, I'm sorry guys, just one thing. Kevin Daniel. Tell me. Do you have access to the platform? Tiene acceso a la plataforma? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, es que eh, lo necesito, por favor, que ahora yo le voy a poner un mensaje, okay? Y okay. necesito que me que me responda el mensajito ahora, okay? Okay, okay. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, now let's see. Questions about the content, the topic today when do we use should when do we use should yes correct no 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 i'm sorry i'm sorry <laughs> uh -huh. when do we use should ya todos ya habían apagado verdad Ay, habían apagado. Okay, guys. Should we use should to give advice and to give suggestions, to provide uh, with suggestions? Let's remember that and please go to do your homework. So, ¿quién se queda conmigo? Who wants to stay in the session one on one? Okay. No problem, guys. No problem. <laughs> no hard feelings. No hard feelings. <laughs> okay, then have a good night. Class is over. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night. Teacher. Tell me, Tell Giovanni. Me tomo lista, disculpe. Como no? And I ask for two, I mean, I ask you twice. I call you okay. twice. Okay. But no problem. I checked you in because I saw that in once you open your mic and I thought that you were frozen or something. Okay. Gracias, si, si lo chequeé, pero pensé que estaba congelado. <laughs> okay. Gracias, teacher. Very good. Well. Okay. Have a good night. Okay, people, let's remember the vocabulary for the topic for today, how to give or how to provide with suggestions and giving advice using should and should not. Okay, just let me share the screen with you guys and uh, for you to take 
note about this vocabulary that is very important because usually uh, the rules and laws and regulations uh, perform the behavior, right? So let, let, me, let me show you this. Let me show you this. Okay, and let's remember the words. Have in our vocabulary for today, behavior, 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 good manners, good manners, advice, advice, suggestion, 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 suggestion. Okay, now, law, law, rules, rules, regulations, regulations, compliance, compliance, requirement, requirement, standards, standards, policies, policies, do, don't, do, don't. Again here, behavior, good manners, advice, suggestion, Let's remember that behavior could be appropriate and inappropriate. So we say appropriate behavior is a good behavior and inappropriate behavior is bad behavior, bad behavior. So let's remember that the behavior is the way how people react or usually act in every day in your workplaces. Right now we are talking about the workplaces. What is a good behavior in your workplace and what is a bad behavior in your workplace? So let's remember also that socially we need to show respect. We need to be polite. We need to have good manners. We need to have a good behavior. So this is important. How to express a direct suggestion for someone in the workplace. For example, you shouldn't, you shouldn't text messages, text messages during the meeting. You shouldn't use your cell phone during the meeting, okay? You shouldn't use your cell phone during the meeting. That's a suggestion or something that it is not appropriate, right? To use the phone when someone else speaking, okay, in the meeting and you are with your phone like this, okay? You are distracted. So, that's not a good behavior. It's inappropriate. Or for example, you are in a meeting and suddenly someone starts like making noises like that, like chewing gum, right? Chewing gum. That's not appropriate. That's not appropriate behavior. A good behavior is not to do that. So we say you shouldn't chew gum in the meeting, right? You shouldn't chew gum in the meeting. And let's remember that when we use should and shouldn't, we're going to um, use the base form of the verb, the base form of the main verb. Remember that because it's very important. We are not going to say uh, you should meeting. No, you should meet with someone, right? 
You should meeting, mm -mm. you should meet with someone, okay? So this is the important part about the suggestions or giving advice, right? For example, if someone tells you, uh, I can't see very well, okay? I, I can't see very well. Then you think uh, maybe it's a problem with her sight or so in this case, you should go to a physician, right? You should go to a physician for a check, yeah? For they to take a look on your eyes. What is happening? What is the problem with that? So you say that, or for example, if you have uh, like um, these eye drops, right? You can say, uh, well, you should use eye drops, okay? You should use eye drops. That's a good suggestion, okay? That's a good suggestion or advice, right? You uh, can say also, you should clean up your lens, right? You should clean up your glasses, right? So this is the way how we use should and shouldn't. Okay, guys, have a good day. Bye-bye.